Um, firstly, let's start off with something that I did not think was going to be the first question today, but as I've walked around the room, there are people that still want to kind of calibrate and familiarize themselves with you. Give us the classic overview of Gary Vaynerchuk, just so we know a little bit about the history and the background, so that A, everyone understands, and B, we would have to do it again next year. Um, <clears throat> so I would say that I'm an entrepreneur. I was born in Belarus in the former Soviet Union. I came to the United States when I was three in 1978. Uh, my family was very poor. We didn't speak English. Um, we lived in a studio apartment the size of this stage. As you can tell, it's not that big, with eight family members uh, in a studio in Queens, New York. My parents are 100% my heroes. Um, my dad worked every day in, of his life, still is. Uh, I was 14 when I started to get to know my dad because he worked that much. He would leave before I woke up and be home uh, after I went to sleep. Um, I was super entrepreneur. Lemonade stands when I was five, had six of them. Um, was making two to $3,000 a weekend when I was 13, selling baseball cards in the malls of New Jersey. Uh, when I was 14, my dad dragged me into the liquor store that now he owned, because one of the jobs my dad got was being a stock boy in a liquor store in New Jersey. And uh, I fell in love with the idea of collecting and selling wine when I was 16 decided to join my family business, launched winelibrary.com in 1996, which was one of the first e-commerce wine businesses in America, and grew our family business from a three to a $60 million business in a six year period. In 2006, uh, when YouTube came out, I started a show on YouTube called Wine Library TV that made me somewhat internet famous. I used Facebook and Twitter and other things of that nature to build that show, which brought attention to me as a new age marketer. Um, in 2009, I wrote a book called Crush It uh, that became a very big New York Times best-selling book. That led to me speaking, consulting. In 2009, I started a company called Vayner Media that I started with my brother, AJ. Uh, we are a strategy and creative shop for Fortune 500 companies producing content on social networks, which is the backbone of this book. Uh, we've grown that business from 20 to 300 employees in the last 24 months since I've joined as a CEO. Um, I'm also an angel investor. I invested in Twitter and Tumblr, Uber, Birchbox, and a lot of successful, and some non-successful. Yo, Bongo, you fuckers lost me a lot of money. Um, but I still believe in that company, god damn it. Uh, and so, uh, that's who I am. When I heard one of my brands paid $400,000 for a web experience, when I know how much it cost Foursquare to build fucking Foursquare, not some dumb fucking landing page, I shit my pants. <laughs> so like if I put you on Snapchat and it gets you a ton of press and that helps you get a better relationship with your biggest customer, wasn't that a good reason to do it? Everybody's just too black and white. The world is gray. <laughs>